Every morning, just as we wake up, thousands of bakers around the world end their night shift. So our day can begin with good bread. Hello ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome here from Germany out of our baking center at WP Kemper. My name is uh, Michael Euler. As a managing director of WP Kemper, I'm responsible especially for the R&D of our new products. And therefore, I have to make sure that all our new products will give an added value to your daily business work. Today, we would like to show you a special product that has a significant impact on the quality of your production. I'm talking about a mixer. But I'm not talking about a standard mixer. I'm talking about a special mixer. Nothing you can buy everywhere around the corner or at any supplier. I'm talking about a digital mixer, our Kronos Digital. What makes this product digital or some people say smart. This is something we have uh, trained or we have developed together with an extensive team of uh, senior researchers during the last three years and uh, as a result out of that we were able to train this mixer to feel the dough and when I said to feel the dough I mean that this mixer has the ability to make a continuous inspection of the dough quality during the mixing process, like a master baker normally does when he feels the dough in the, during the mixing process. And uh, one of the most important USPs this mixer has is that it controls the mixing process itself and that uh, it is able to stop the process always on an optimal dough quality. And uh, that happens not only under standard circumstances, this mixer will make that happen also if you have uh, fluctuating uh, temperatures or uh, humidity in your bakery and uh, regardless if you have the same flour harvest or not, if you have unsteady raw material qu uh, qualities, this mixer will always uh, make the optimum for you. So how we will do that with this mixer is something Sebastian will now show you in a trial. Sebastian. Thank you. So, also a very warm welcome from my side. Uh, my name is Sebastian Wessels. Uh, I'm responsible for the engineering department at WP Kemper. And uh, I will show you a, a live demonstration um, of this mixer. But before we are starting, uh, I would also explain what maybe the main reason is why we have developed this uh, mixer is. Um, we get a lot of requests from our customer and have a lot of discussions with our customers. We have learned that they have really a big problem, especially in the whole over the world, um, to um, get the same quality about the whole day. Yeah? A lot of countries, they have no trained bakers, they have normal employees who are working uh, at the mixers and working uh, at, the, at the dough uh, making area of a bakery. And uh, what we have learned is that uh, you start, this is a starting point of a quality in your bakery. And if you are not equal about the whole day and you are very, um, uh, um, uh, it depends really on the people who are working in that area, um, then you have a lot, a lot of problems and quality difference about the whole day. And this was the main reason why we have developed um, this mixer. And how it really works in detail, I will explain during we are mixing the dough. And now uh, we will start and uh, uh, with the mixing process itself. I will now change uh, empty bowl for a bowl with all ingredients. So. 
so thanks. And um, the mixing process is, is really, really easy because um, I will later explain how to program the machine, but if it's programmed one time, the people who are working in that area, they have only to do one job, they have to push the start button. And now I will explain you a little bit what we are mixing here now today. Uh, the recipe what we are uh, mixing here is uh, especially a wheat flour recipe for a baguette uh, dough. It's uh, uh, 75 kilograms of flour, uh, 1.5 kilogram of salt, um, 1.5 kilogram of improver, 1.5 kilogram of yeast, and uh, in total 48.75 uh, liter of water. And this is in total a water, absorbed, a water absorption rate of 165. So 65% water in the dough. And now I can explain a little bit more how you have to work with this machine because a lot of you, uh, of our customers, they have already uh, mixers with a, with a touch screen and they are programming the two mixing phases. It means a slow starting phase to get all ingredients together and the faster a kneading phase where we are kneading out the gluten of the product. And normally all recipes are based on how long should you mix in the slow speed and how long should you mix in the fast speed. But with this machine, you're programming it totally different. That means for the slow speed, you only said, okay, I need a well uh, mixed or well uh, combined all ingredients together. And the machine will identify this by its own. That means uh, the machine is checking the curve for the temperature and at that moment where the high temperature of flour and the low temperature of water coming together, the combined temperature is going down and if we have uh, reached the bottom of the curve of the temperature and we recognize all ingredients are together, then the machine starts automatically to go to the fast speed. This is the first uh, mixing phase. And then, when you are programming um, the, the machine, you will say, okay, I have my mixing curve and the dough what I need for my product is really well mixed on point with the maximum resistance or it is a little bit over mixed uh, for special products like burgers or whatever that you have a little bit over mixed dough or for pus pay you go, for example, for a little under mixed, uh, not perfect kneaded dough. And this uh, character of the dough you describe uh, on the point of the curve and the machine uh, go every time by itself back to your uh, predefined point on the mixing curve. Uh, the machine um, looks from, from the outside as a normal mixer and it's a normal Kronos from the body, from the base, everything is a normal machine. But inside the machine we have special motors all these motors are with converters, especially for the mixing tool and also for the uh, bowl drive. And these motors with a very, very big frequency converter behind, they are building axes, axes for the spiral and axes for the bowl drive. And this is the reason why we know exactly the speed of each tool and we get a very, very nice curve for the uh, torque of the motor, so the energy what is going into um, the dough. And this, we are getting into some filters and mathematical models we have inside and in a very, very uh, fast computer, we are calculating and uh, the, the nice flatted curves. And we have, in total, we have uh, five mathematical models inside. Four are looking for the actual curves for the high frequency parts, for the low frequency parts, and they are checking if they are still growing or where we are on the curve. And the fifth, this is maybe the most important one, they are checking and compare the actual mixing curve, what you are seeing on the screen, with memory uh, curves from this recipe. That means for each recipe, what the mixer is programmed, we are saving, uh, we say, reference curves. And the machine compares the reference curves with the actual mixing curve. And so we can also look into the future and say, okay, now, for example, I will expect, if this dough will be ready, a dough temperature of 24.3 degrees. 
and in total a mixing time of three, 660 seconds, roughly. It will be changed a little bit, but with the uh, possibility to compare the reference curves with the actual mixing curve, um, we are coming very, very precisely, and we are now also knowing in advance when we have to stop in, uh, in certain seconds. And in the end, it will be a democratic process. That means if three of these five mathematical models say, okay, I'm at the right point, I'm exactly there where I should be from the character of the dough, then the machine stops fully automatically. And independent from all person who are working in front. That means uh, we are mixing every dough to the same character, to the same uh, specific uh, needs, you need uh, requests from your dough. And uh, uh, this happens all days and uh, we are still training uh, by each dough what the machine is mixing. The reference curves get more smooth and better and better. So the results are very, very equal about the whole day. So this machine never mix the same time. It every time mix the dough to the same character, to the same quality. And this is what um, the special needs or the special developing is of our mixer, Kronos Digital. Um, the next big, big thing, what we say, what is a big advantage is that all the curves, what you're seeing in the screen, and we have curves for the you know, torque, we have a curve for the temperature, we have curves for the energy, what is going into the, um, into the dough, and we have um, um, uh, special curves for the stiffness and for the viscosity of the dough. And with these curves, um, you can define the character and the quality on the dough. And these curves get automatically stored or saved uh, on uh, one of your computer systems of the bakery. And people uh, as a shift leader or the bakery manager or people from the quality department they are able to get access to these curves. And so you get a complete new way for the quality department of your bakery, how you could work in future and how you could decide if you have quality problems or not. And this could you already expect after each batch is ready or later on. That means if you have a long process until your ready product coming to the packing drink area, then you can say, okay, how was my mixing process yesterday or for six hours or for four hours? Because each curve of each batch, what get mixed, is saved uh, on an external uh, server system next to the, to the mixer. What is also new at our uh, Kronos Digital is uh, this machine is fully encrypted with an RFID chip. That means each bowl has an own chip and get detected automatically de automatically detected by the machine and you get also the information transport uh, from the dosing system so which recipe is in the bowl <coughs> and um, what recipe has to be started uh, at the mixer so this is also prepared for a fully automatic process by an RFID uh, chip and the sensor at the machine we also have sensors of course for the dosing station also for the lifter so that you also can be um, uh, built up a complete uh, system for checking um, the uh, resting times and if you have good or bad dough quality, if you get, uh, is it allowed to get it to the production line or not. So this is one additional thing uh, what we can uh, achieve with this new uh, mixer generation. Uh, from principle, and this is also important, uh, the bolts are totally the same like with all standard mixers at, at Kemper. That means you can combine also a digital version for your special dose, for your whole quality dose. And you can also combine this with standard mixers for a uh, different process. And you can use the same bowl in each mixer. This is also one big, big advantage of this new generation. So we are now coming uh, to the end, to the end of the process. Uh, the curve is still growing. That means we have reached nearly the high point. And now you see the mixer decided I have reached the right point, uh, what we have defined uh, in the recipe. And now it stopped and said, okay, now the mixing time was 371 seconds. And um, now we have uh, this wheat flour dough mixed 
to the point what we have defined before. Now we will check it. Uh, our master baker will take one piece out and we will see how the quality is. So it's smooth mix. It looks really nice. Uh, it's very clear, no structure, and this is how a wheat flour do, should be after the mixing in a, in a spiral mixer. Thank you very much. And uh, so this was a um, very quick introduction into our new product, the Kronos Digital. It's not really new. We have it now on the market for one year and uh, have the first installation. And uh, it would be very kind or would be proud for us to uh, welcome you in our test center and to show you uh, in detail in reality uh, this mixer with your recipes, with your dough. And I, I hope uh, I will you see soon in our test bakery. And thank you very much for your audience. Uh, also, Michael will say some words to you. Thanks, uh, Sebastian. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining our small live stream concerning the Kronos Digital. I hope we were able to convince you during our small demonstration here that uh, with the Kronos Digital, you have an outstanding mixer with future technology in sight for the production of high quality doughs during your daily business in your own facilities. If we were able to awaken your interest concerning digital products, I would like to recommend our next stream concerning that purpose for today. Thank you very much for joining us here and all the best for the future. Take care. Bye-bye. Auf Wiedersehen.